Hello, how to solve this? We have x to the power of x to the power of 3 and this equals 36. We are solving for the value of x that satisfies this equation. Now, observe, we have power 3 here. And because of this, we are going to raise each part of this equation to the power of 3 because we have 3 here. We have x power x power 3 raised to the power of 3 and this equals 36 raised to the power of 3. Now, the next step will be for us to consider this identity. If you have a power n raised to the power of m, this equals a power n raised to the power of n. So we apply this identity right here. That means x power 3 will be our n. Then this 3 is our m. We apply this other identity. The m is now inside and the n is outside. So that means we are simply going to have the base is here, that is x, which is the base. Then the m is now inside, which is 3. Raised to the power of the n is now outside, which is x power 3. And this equals 36 to the power of 3. Now, observe this. What we have here, is exactly what we have here at the exponent. So we need to also make sure that what we have here is exactly what we have here. So for us to achieve that, we are going to have 36, and this equals 6 times 6, and that is 6 to the power of 2. So we are simply going to have x power 3, raised to the power of x power 3, and this equals 36, that is 6 power 2, we have 6 to the power of 2, and this is raised to the power of 3. Now, if you have a to the power of n, raised to the power of m, equals a power n times m. So by applying this identity here, we multiply this exponent, 2 times 3, that is 6. So we are simply going to have x power 3, raised to the power of x power 3 equals 6 raised to the power of 2 times 3, that is 6. So you observe x power 3, 6, x power 3, 6, that is same. Now let's consider this identity. If you have a power a and this equals b power b, you can have a equals b. So by applying this identity right here, that means we are simply going to have x power 3 equals 6. So we need to solve for x right now. And for us to solve for x, we need to eliminate this 3. You can have x to the power of 3. I raise this to the power of 1 over 3. And this equals 6. I also raise it to the power of 1 over 3. Now, this leads us to this other identity again. We have a power n raised to the power of n. This equals a power n times n. I apply this again here. That means I'm going to multiply this out. So what I'm simply going to have will be x to the power of 3 times 1. That is 3 over 3 equals 6 power 1 over 3. And 3 over 3 is 1. So we are going to have x equals 6 power 1 over 3. Now consider this identity. If you have a power 1 over n, this equals the n root of a power 1. And this means you have the n root of a because a power 1 is a. Now we apply the same identity here. So we are simply going to have x equals the cube root of 6 power 1. And this means we have the cube root of 6 because 6 power 1 is 6. So this is our answer. We leave it this way. Now the next step will be for us to insert this answer back into this original problem. And let's see if it's going to satisfy this equation. So we have check. 
Then right now we have x power x power 3 equals 36 and our x is simply we have 6 power 1 over 3 or we have cube root of 6. So let's consider 6 power 1 over 3. That means we are simply going to have instead of writing x we have 6 power 1 over 3 and this is raised to the power of another x that is 6 power 1 over 3 and this is raised to the power of 3 the 3 that we have here so you raise it to the power of 3 and this equals 36 so right now let's consider this other identity if you observe what we have here this is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power of m which equals a power n times m so we need to multiply this exponent that's 1 over 3 times 3 and that is 3 over 3 so what we are simply going to have will be 6 which is the base here raised to the power of 1 over 3 and this is raised to the power of another 6 and this is raised to the power of 3 over 3 and this equals 36 so from here remember 6 3 over 3 is 1 so that means we are going to have 6 to the power of 1 over 3 and this is raised to the power of 6 because 6 power 1 is the same thing as 6 so this equals 36 now the next step will be for us to consider this identity again a power n raised to the power of n equals a power n times n So we need to multiply this out. We have 1 over 3 times 6. And that is 6 over 3. So we have 6. Which is the 6 here. Raised to the power of 6 times 1. That is 6 over 3. And this equals 36. So from here. We have 6 divided by 3. That is 2 we are simply going to have 6 to the power of 2 and this equals 36 and from here we have 6 to the power of 2 that is 36 so you have 36 and this equals 36 because 6 to the power of 2 is 6 times 6 so what this simply means is that the left hand side equals the right hand side that means our solution is obviously very correct so that is it and that is the end of this video Please don't forget to subscribe and share this video to your friends. Thank you and goodbye.